Hello folks and welcome back to the Bellman Empire in Stellaris. I thought I would speed through this let's play and be done in a couple weeks, but uh, things have gotten in the way. Summer is after all for other things than uh, games. Or, well, really it depends on your personal preference, but I almost don't remember what we were doing. I do remember we were playing Tall and that we had just encountered the Shard in uh, this Relic World system here uh, that killed our scientist Olive Maple inside the ISS Vitalis and its crew uh, which is m very sad. We had also just finished I believe some archaeological sites of the Precursor Civilization over here and I think uh, that stuff is gonna continue if I remember correctly but, uh, yeah, we definitely need to... We're just gonna keep building tall here, uh, secure the last few... I think this will really be the extent of our, our empire here. Uh, because, oh, actually, we could push to this one here and have this be a frontier outpost. But, yeah, we, we'll make this a... F like, we'll have a, a f um, strong defense points in just a couple of nodes. This is of course assuming that the shard doesn't move around from system to system. In that case we're absolutely screwed. Uh, in Stellaris I do really want to learn how to optimize uh, pr particular ship designs and stuff. So if anyone has like any good tutorial that they want to show me or have any tips do let me know. I've always just used auto generated ones because well I just assume that that should work as long as I have enough numbers. Uh, but I have noticed that once you go up with against civilizations with different tech advantages you might not always have the edge. All right, we had built a colony ship that was gonna actually go ahead and uh, take over the relic world, but now there's a giant dragon monster uh, protecting that planet, so instead we're gonna go here. Uh, first we're gonna enter orbit, and then we do need our science ships to, to do stuff. In fact, we need a new science ship. Improved strike craft. I mean, space repeaters are good, I assume, but I don't know. Elgate Insights, oh. yeah, you know what, but Elgates are so good, but then I, I don't know, I don't know what I want. Yeah, Strikecraft. Alright, this science ship is ready, go ahead and survey. Alright, it's Auto Explorer that I was looking for, but we we don't have that yet, god damn it. Ooh, plus 20%, thank you. Oh, looks like we have discovered the third bowel colony here. And we will uh, hopefully find remnants of the bowl and Grunerer civilization. Uh, but that will now become an archaeology site, which means I should not colonize this. And also, we've been able to push up this up to 65%, but that's still not very good to colonize. So this colony ship will just... Thankfully, its upkeep is actually kind of low nowadays. Um, I think in the old days it was like 8, even when it was just flying around. Uh, we found a shipment, a lost shipment of minerals from the Eurasian Empire, and they're not really fans of us, so whatever. Automatic exploration, yes please. Uh, I don't really want to risk a war, I don't think they would go to war, but I'll return their supplies, whatever, you know. 300 minerals is nothing to us. Here we go, pop growth speed increased by 10%. Orbital Speed Demon, so there's basically this object uh, rotating here, or in orbit around uh, Turioc here that goes super fast and is just increasing in velocity. We are going to attempt to slow it down. Okay, we were able to intercept the object, and it looks to be some sort of box constructed of alien material. Vein-like ridges meander along its sides, congregating at the top in some type of sphere-shaped mechanism. Hmm... Open it. Log. It'll take 18 months to finish this, but uh, I think it'll be pretty cool, I hope. We have found back in Eri 2 uh, vestiges of the Bowel civilization and fossils of these specimens, but with a decreased ability for hive mind capabilities, so um, it's kind of curious. The Estwani Commonwealth. Interesting. 
materialist, pacifist, egalitarian. Mm. We do not care for your frivolous morality. Uh, oh, okay, this is kind of weird. This is probably bugged. How is it the first time we've encountered intelligent alien life? I mean, we, we know about this other empire, but whatever. Is everyone purple? God damn it. All right. Um, so it's confirmed that hundreds of years following the Grunrur invasion, the Bull began to devolve their ability to connect to one another as a hive mind. Unfortunately, it seems no further relevant data can be extracted from the site. All right. I know it's only 65% habitability, but I might as well, right? Ooh. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, we've opened the alien box and there are three vials of liquid. They're ha rapidly deteriorating, but we can probably use one of them to apply to our species. And uh, we don't know what kind of positive outcomes they'll give, but apparently we know that all of these will be positive. I think I'm going to go blue. Let's see what happens. Uh, the solution appears to increase our potential lifespan. Limited regeneration. Okay, that's kind of cool. Grunrur distress signal. Our scientists are picking up the stress signal bearing Grunrur data logical signatures. It appears to originate from a system previously unknown to us near Regulus. Oh. Wait, near Regulus? Are you sure about that? Maybe it'll pop up in a second. Uh, incredible. Oh, there, there's Regulus. But then... Ooh. A whole new system within our empire. FTL inhibitor is quite important. I've learned from uh, other playthroughs. Alright, you know what? We're gonna take a Malice, but uh, I might as well. We're also going to name the colony after the uh, fallen scientist that fought against the Shard, but discovered everything about the kleptomaniac rats and uh, the re regen regenerator artifact, or whatever it was called. Uh, yes, in honor of, of her. Ooh, Tomb World, level 20. <gasps> this looks good. Not level 20, 20 size, rather. Extra habitability will do. Extra engineering research I would like to have, although Starhold is pretty good. Hmm. We'll do this first. Oh, wow, okay, so there's this research station that's been deactivated for millions of years. It's been surviving uh, on sol a solar panel network, and um, it's about to shut down. There's a distress signal, but we have, we think there is a single life form inside of this abandoned, decrepit research station. Let's see what it is. The last bowl. Deep in the dilapidated ruins of the time-worn Grunrur facility. Among the long defunct computer panels and deteriorated research equipment, our ship's crew has made an incredible find. Pincushioned by nutrient tubes and critically failing life support systems lies one single organism. The last bowl. Miraculously still alive, surrounded by the sludgy remains of other specimens in a row of cracked and leaking vats. Owing to our extensive and previous or ex previous archaeological studies on the species, we should be able to attempt communications with this last specimen. We will, of course, try. A visitor, can it be? The bowl shudders in its vat. But you are not the ones who put us here. Though you come uh, as the alarms sound. Have you come to give us peace at last? Ooh, perhaps, but first we have a few questions. Or we will, you will answer to us, Zeno, not the reverse. I mean, we are Xenophiles, but we'll ask some questions. The bull is silent for several minutes and asks, We have waited millennia. We can endure a moment more. Tell us about yourself. Ourself, what is there to tell? We sat beneath the stars and soft earth, unfurled our leaves like sails to the sun overhead. We remember every drop of water that quenched them in the parched summers, every shivering horror that blanketed them in the winters. We bent in the wind as the stars wheeled overhead. 
We were uprooted. We were burned. We were sliced. We were left here. We watched uh, our others rot in their grass prisons. What happened to the bowl? When the burners came, entire colonies were silenced before the danger was known to us. Like a limb gone limp, nerves cut suddenly and totally at the base. And then we lost the next and next and the next. One by one, their voice left the chorus. We lost our others. Their silence deafened us, who remained. Can you understand, visitor? We could not bear to hear more agony. The burners were swift, like you, swifter. And before we could withdraw, they had set us all aflame. All burned to ash, and the air filled with that grey agony. The dust of our lost. Wow, that was this is great writing it right here. Uh, I mean, I even I did insert a couple of extra words whilst reading, but whatever. Uh, we have heard enough. Wait, the bull trembles. Before it all ends, our kin, please. We have been sealed here for so long, blind to all but this room, watching the stale air slowly wear the station down to its metal bones. Tell us, does our kind yet live? In a sense, though they are not yet lo are no longer sapient. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the leaves of the last bell shrivel on themselves just a little more. Perhaps, perhaps that's best. The machine pumping mysterious fluids in and out of the creature's body begin to sputter and hiss. It is clearly on its last me mechanical gasp, and the bell will perish without it. Silence, yes. At last it approaches. We welcome it, as our brethren did so long ago. Farewell, Mandasura. May your kin endure less agony in this world. Farewell. We have gained a relic. The last bowl. Preserved in stasis, the body of the last known bowl specimen serves as a silent memorial to the fate of the species, who, afflicted with the tragedy of genocide, ultimately retreated from sentience. Top growth speed plus 10%, uh, and then the active effects, I, th I accidentally activated it, um, and it's 3,600 days until that goes away again, so it's once every 10, ten years, uh, roughly. Um, but yeah, we can turn, I think we can turn any planet into a Gaia world every 10 years. That's insane. I mean, I think I'll uh, I'll turn this one into a, a Gaia world, but I, I don't know how to do that. So, we'll see. Right, it's a decision, but this is my, my home world here, so I'm not going to touch that. Um, I will encourage pop growth speed, though, I think. It's only a thousand food for that. Communications established to Kelbrid Expungers. Oh, a gestalt consciousness. Keep to ourselves. Or yourselves, aliens. Why do... The game really wants me to die, right? I mean, this... These guys are definitely gonna kill me. We will name this colony the Grunor uh, colony here. Mostly because, you know, that's what... This was uh, their home world. And they're pretty close to us. And the star is Grunor, so... Why not? Well, so much for trying to take that. I don't think we'll be taking that. We'll, uh, once we get the fifth star base capacity, we'll definitely build this uh, as a defense station. We're gonna also need to increase our uh, production of ships somewhere. I suppose eventually once we get Starhold. But we're going to need a 6th star base somewhere right here in the middle so we can like quickly send fleets around. Alright, star base influence cost. The first star base I'm going to prioritize is the one around... A new world for our yes, uh, whatever. Milker's vort Vortex right here because obviously we have these angry, angry exper exterminators, and we also have the shard there. Not that the shard will move, I don't think anything's gonna happen, but we really want to defend that uh, point very well there. 
Terrestrial sculpting, here we go. Also, I totally forgot to do this. I know we're at 70% now, but that still gives us penalties. So let's do the new bow life seeding. Uh, we'll extract this, the secret of the bow organism's ability to terraform the, a planet. Uh, so we've developed a rapidly reproducing plant life modified with specially selected bow genetic data to the planet. We can terraform the entire biosphere at a fraction of the cost. Yes. Uh, now let's see. Uh, our environmental specialists are pleased. Transfer into Gaia world. A number uh, uh, of new bowel populations have appeared planet side emerging when terraforming neared completion. Excellent. More slaves. <laughs> well, alright. Yeah. Well, Slaves, or should we have slaves, or should we have... You know what, let's ha try to deal with them. Oh, look at them! Well, I mean, they are like kind of like slaves. Uh, we found someone else as we were looking at this, but yeah, they are unemployed at the moment. That's fine. Who cares? Interesting. Uh, let's see, we've found the Oveni Blessed. A theocratic dictatorship just south over there. Mm. Keep to yourselves. We discovered some artisans. That's cool. I think we'll make this into a city or urban world. Uh, we're gonna close that off, and I don't know. I don't know what city. Should we automate it? Let's automate it. Ooh, we discovered some artificial gravity uh, devices in the asteroid belt over here. Gas is extraction wells. Yes, we will do so. Alright, we discovered a toy factory. We've discovered another empire over here. Who are you? Another purple one. Je Jesus Christ, keep to yourselves. A natural wormhole has also been discovered in the Debith system. I don't know where the Debith system is. Please tell me. Oh, over there. Okay, in their empire. Um... Hmm, could it somehow be stabilized? Basic combat rolls sounds pretty basic. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the new sector system. Like, I love that each planet can be individually automated, each sector can be automated as well, etc, etc. But just the way that it's exactly four jumps and I cannot add or remove a particular star system from that sector, it's just kind of annoying. Like, I wish I could just make my entire empire into one sector, because it's so small at the moment that I don't really care if I have a frontier sector and just a main sector. Alright, let's, uh, let's make a new sector. Actually, no sector. Yeah, I have to make a new sector, basically. Alright, let's do that. And you see that because this one was four jumps away, uh, suddenly this is frontier area, but whatever. I don't I don't care. Let's let's let that be Oh wait, no now that is part of that, but can I move that like this would look so much better if I could just Change it god damn it. Oh What a heart attack. I almost had So I thought it was like I heard my the voice being like going like oh Xeno mongrels have declared war on each other and that for a second I thought it was on me, but uh, yeah, the Sirgan High Kingdom on the Estwani Commonwealth. So these two are going at it. Let's go for some cold fusion. Alright, I think it's time for some star holds. Terraforming gases are now done. Naval capacity. Ooh. Ooh. Many important things. I could either go for the increased naval capacity, but I do need the extra star bases right now, so we'll do that. Administrative capacity increased by 20. What's our capacity right now? Capacity 30. So we do have a sprawl. Okay. Uh, let's increase that. Let's see if that changes anything. 50. 59. So now all the extra costs are much lower. I'm actually de going to declare rivalry on these people here because whatever. They are dangerous to us. And... Uh, they do have a superior fleet at the moment, but hopefully we can catch up to them. Oh, damn. On the Gruner planet, we found a 35-ton 
or megaton nuclear bomb still in place. And uh, of course, we'll depopulate a bunch of people if uh, if it goes off. Situation we must disarm it. Let's. Uh, ooh, timeout. It's 200 days left. Okay, uh, until we start. Good. The Estwani Commonwealth wants a, a non-aggression pact. Sure, as long as that doesn't affect me too much. Gas extraction wells. Sure, do that. All right, let's terraform this. Uh, the only other planet uh, we can currently colonize. I have found no other planets with the ability to terraform within our borders, and uh, this is the best can that we have. It's eight, 18 size. Uh, it'll take 10 years and 5,000 entry credits, but here we go. We have successfully disarmed the hydrogen bomb on the Grun Um Great. This will hopefully reduce the chance of another incident like this occurring. Great. Research complexes. Pretty important. Alright, I think we've finished... Oh no, is this a new one? Right, it's a new excavation site. I feel like uh, relics shouldn't be activated by a simple click. You should be able to click and then get a pop-up confirmation, because, yeah, it's not very nice to have that um, on. But yeah, pop growth speed just from having that is so nice. There used to be a civilization on this planet, then they started some sort of nuclear war against each other, and uh, now it's a beautiful vista of permanent aurora borealis. We have Secrets of the Ba'ul that we could have fired and I didn't know about. Uh, of course we can use 50 to get Elgate Insights, but Secrets of Ba'ul sounds cooler, so we're going to delve into their mysteries. Gene Clinics, although Fleet Command Limit... Oh, that's per fleet, right. That's not too useful for us right now. Let's get the Gene Clinics. Let's also make this a starport, and we need a another one. We'll make this one a starport. Research complexes are finished. Uh, ooh, experimental subspace navigation. Although chemical plants might actually be important because we might need, I think you need volatile moats for the next research facility uh, kind of thing, so we'll do that. City housing districts, let's go. Also, this does each, the upgrade does consume a lot of um, consumer goods, so we're gonna have to uh, kind of get the population up on our consumer goods or civilian industry world here. Galactic administration, let's go. I spent those 50 artifacts on the the bowl. Ah, right, it's a special project. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, so the patterns of the Aurora Borealis in this nuked world uh, might be revealing a message. Let's keep digging. All right, we're about to finish this tradition here, and that means we have an empty Ascension perk slot. Unfortunately, I don't think we have anything of the things we want, because I, I want the... Uh, Unlocks for rating bombardment. Enigmatic engineering. Hmm. Language by... Ch I don't know. Because I, I want this stuff right here, right? Uh, what was it? Uh, Voidborn, Master Builders, Galactic Wonders, and Arcology Project. Unfortunately, those require me to actually have some tech ready. So I'm not going to choose anything at the moment. By carefully tracking the changes that the Bell underwent during their loss of sentience, we have gained much knowledge on how to reverse that process. We've also gained new insights into the spread of plant life and improved our terraforming processes. So, uh, we gain epigenetic triggers, which decrease terraforming cost by 15%. Ah, right, we get uplift. Uh -huh, Aha, that, okay, that's the reverse stuff. But wait, I'm already done with... what? That was confusing. Oh, this is kind of sad. So, Song of the Solitaire. Um, so basically, the planet itself is some sort of unknown life form, or, or the lights around it, and it's trying to communicate to us. We don't really know how because the translators don't know what to do. 
do with the information. Um, you know, it's just totally different, incompatible physiology. And uh, we don't know if it's uh, sending us a warning, lamenting its dead world, gloating in triumph. All we can do is leave, leave it there in the sky to sing its alien song. Goodbye. Hmm, alright. We are xenophobes, but we can still promote one of our worlds to become the center of a galactic market. I wonder if we should try. I love to make Maple the uh, the main trading hub of the galaxy. Unfortunately, we don't have 20 pops to actually nominate it, so I won't try. Ship type cruiser, let's go. Zura Corp. Oh, it's just some small trading base. 42 years and 3 days. So we discovered this clock thing that's counting down. Uh, and it's extremely accurate. We don't know what's happening within 42 years and 3 days. But uh, let's say it's a bomb. Let's destroy it. I realize now that terraforming this world was kind of stupid and probably a waste of 5,000 energy credits. But we did have 5,000 energy credits, so whatever. Uh, because we, we could just have used our relic. Like, we could have colonized it early and then just used our relic to transform it into a, a, a Gaia world. We have discovered that droids around a certain asteroid belt here in Gamma uh, probably come from two different cultures. Ooh, we've discovered a pre-sapient species. Uh, they're, they have tentative mastery over the planet. Is it here? Where are they? Come on, give me... I want to see them. The Estwani Commonwealth wants to be in a defensive pact. I don't even know how strong you are. Equivalent, superior, inferior tech. And your federation builders. I mean, I know I'm a xenophobe, but you are materialist and you haven't bothered me yet, so whatever. We have way too much influence uh, power, so we'll also do a commercial pact. Aha! We think that this place uh, might have been a battleground for these droids. Uh, but we don't know why yet. Anyway, I think I've played for way too long already. Uh, oh, look at that. Why do we know about this? Right, it's just some desolate place there. Uh, we, um, we've played quite a bit here. I think we've played almost, I want to say almost 30 years. I think that's the case. And uh, we've achieved quite a bit. We know a lot about the Baal, uh, the Gunrur, and we've colonized our space here. We're building tall, we're getting that technological dominance, and we are preparing to, uh, to build a proper fleet, defend ourselves, and be the greatest empire in this little corner that the galaxy has ever seen. This has been Game Gapster. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Do leave suggestions down below. Leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe. Farewell.